Hi, Robert here. Uh, this is a question about how do you calculate zones in Revit. Um, I think I'm going to just go with the HVAC. So to calculate zones, you need, um, I mean, you need zones and spaces to ca calculate loads. That's loads, I'm sorry. So to do that, let's go down to our mechanical level one. So we're in this drawing now. And we've got linked architectural models. So what we need to do here, we need to go and select this link. And you want to edit type. And here, I want to turn on this where it says room bounding. I want to select that. And hit OK. Hit apply. And OK. So now once that's done, we need to go and create spaces. So what happens here, we just go take, say, space. And we'll drop one here. And we'll just d rename this living room. I don't think I'm going to do all these rooms. I did this in an earlier video. I think I got this in my... Um, I think it's an MEP video, but anyway, I'll go ahead. So here's another space here. Uh, this will be our, oh, sorry about that. I don't want to do that. No. So you want to select this. You want to rename the utility room. School audio. And then here we want to do another space. So for this house, I'm going to put everything in one like zone. So I'm going to go here and I want to go back under the systems, I'm sorry, the analyze tab, space. And we'll create this is a bedroom. Oh boy, keep doing that. Let me see if I can. Avoid that. I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, let me see if I can just change this scale to a quarter of an inch. Yeah, that's better. This is bedroom. So what you have to do, you got to create these spaces first. So we go back into analyze space bathroom. I'll just say bath here. This sort of room is going to be made when you do your loads. Um, let's go with another space here. Let me start to just repeat space. Yep, repeat space. This will be our kitchen. Okay. Now we'll go and do another space here. This will be bedroom two. Two. <laughs> and this one will be bedroom three. Okay, now I might want to make one more here, just so this this will be, yeah, I got a zone there, so let's call this hallway a corridor, a hallway, it don't matter. Okay, so now once I have all of my spaces done, then I'll be back in my Analyze tab, and then I'll select Zone. So there, this is gonna be this is gonna be the zone here. I'm gonna add add this zone right here. I just said this will be the zone, and then I'm gonna say finish. Now here I'll go to my um, analyze tab and say heating and cooling loads. Select it. And now there's a model of my house, and there's a, the different spaces I separated. 
So here you just select the building type. Uh, this is going to be, should be multi-family parking, single family, single family here. And then this is the location. You can say wherever you are in the world. I'm going to, well, I could have left it in Boston. I'll leave it in Boston, but you can put this wherever you are in the world. I'm going to just leave this here. We'll leave it in Boston. And then uh, this is, say, the phase type, the tolerance here. And then you want to use function param parameter, building service. This is duct. Okay, and then uh, you just want to select calculate. And there's your loads for each room. Uh, for each of those zones we could be put in. So there's our rooms right here, our living room. So that's basically how you do it. There's all the information based on the spaces, the size, and the location of where that building is. So I hope this helps. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I'm glad to see you moving along well. So thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.